More and more people are being diagnosed as autistic, although we still have a long way to go in creating a world that works for autistic people. Alright, so I'm also doing some research on visit a family and when you come in my it has been more than 50 years since Leo Kanner first described his classic autistic syndrome. Since then, the results of research and clinical work have helped us learn more about autism. More and more people are being diagnosed as autistic, although we still have a long way to go in creating a world that works for autistic people. In 1961, the British Working Party directed by Dr. Mildred Creek and consisting of 13 members from various clinics and hospitals in the UK, established nine criteria for diagnosing autism, impairment of emotional relationships with people, unawareness of one's own identity, preoccupation with particular objects, resistance to change, impairment in perception, illogical anxiety, speech loss or a failure to develop any speech, and a distortion in motility patterns. In 1979, Lorna Wing and Judith Good examined the prevalence of autism, as defined by Leo Kanner, among children known to have special needs in the former London borough of Camberwell. They found a prevalence in those with IQ under 70 of nearly 5 per 10,000 for this syndrome, closely similar to the rate found by Lauder. As well as children with Kanner autism, Wing and Gould also found a larger group of children, about 15 per 10,000, who had difficulties with social interaction, communication, and imagination, which they referred to as the triad of impairments, as well as a repetitive stereotyped pattern of activities. Although these children did not fit into the full picture of early childhood autism, or typical autism as described by Kanner, they were described as being on the broader autism spectrum. The total prevalence rate for all autistic children with special needs in the Camberwell Study was approximately 20 in every 10,000 children, Wang and Gould, 1979. Gilberg, ETL, YY 1786 in Gothenburg, Sweden, found very similar rates in children with learning disabilities. The autism spectrum. Other studies in different countries have also looked into autism and many autistic children, but not the whole spectrum. These results range from 3.3 to 60.0 per 10,000. This could be due to differences in definitions or case finding. A survey by the Office of National Statistics of the Mental Health of Children and Young People in Great Britain found a prevalence rate of 0.9 for autism or 90 in 10,000 green ETL. These were not separated into autism, Asperger's syndrome, or other profiles on the autism spectrum. In 2005, Gillian Baird and her colleagues published a report of a prevalence study which surveyed a population of children aged 9-10 years in the South Thames region. All children who either already had an autism diagnosis or had social and communication difficulties were selected for screening. Children considered to be at risk of being an undetected case because they had a statement of special educational needs were also selected. Diagnoses were based on ICD-10 criteria. The results showed a prevalence rate of 38.9 in 10,000 for childhood autism and 77.2 in 10,000 for other conditions on the autism spectrum, giving an overall figure of 116 in 10,000. This study, very few children were identified with Asperger syndrome. The authors acknowledged that some children in mainstream schools who did not have a statement of special educational needs would have been missed because of the selection criteria. The authors note that the prevalence estimate found should be regarded as a minimum figure, ETO and diagnostic criteria for Asperger syndrome suggests a person who would be diagnosed with Asperger's syndrome using the criteria used by Gilberg would probably receive a diagnosis of childhood autism or atypical autism using the IC-10 criteria. Autistic adults. The adult psychiatric morbidity survey is the primary data source for monitoring trends in England's mental health. In 2007, it included autism for the first time and found that one of the populations studied was autistic the Department of Health then funded a project to build on the AM study and look more closely at the numbers of autistic adults that were not included in the original study. 
This included people in residential care settings and those with complex needs. Professor Terry Bruca of the University of Leicester led this study. Brua also led autism research for the APMs 2007, combining its findings with the original APMs. The study found that approximately 1.1 of people in England are autistic, the NHS Information Center, Community and Mental Health Team. Bruca, TEL, 2012. I hope in this video, you learned quite a bit about autism. If you want more videos about other disabilities, comment below the topics, and maybe it will be in a future video. Like and share this video and subscribe for more videos.